Hey there, guys. So today we have another awesome review, another battle beers. Um, two beers that I generally don't really drink too much of. Um, uh, both Vit beers, uh, Belgian style. Um, I believe they're brewed probably differently. Uh, this one, ha this is obviously a traditional one, um, despite being owned by uh, InBev now. Uh, it's brewed with coriander and orange peel, and I do believe that Allagash White as well is brewed with um, uh, orange peel, maybe. But it says spices. So anyway. Um, not my favorite style, but, you know, I've just had these two beers laying around and I thought I'd, you know, uh, put them head to head. So uh, why not find out which one's better, right? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm starting with this one. I don't know which one's which, so yeah. Let's, uh, you know. Yeah, this one's nice. Um, it, again, has that uh, yeasty breadiness, um, a bit of citrus, a bit of spice, um, some orange, orange peel coming through. But again, just very much, uh, you know, the Belgian yeast and the breadiness. A lot of banana too. Banana, orange, uh, like breading malt, a bit of spice. Falls off the palate pretty easily. Uh, easy drinking beer. After aftertaste is a bit of orange um, zest kind of flavor. So yeah, let's get the uh, uh, second one. This one definitely smells different. Wow, this one's less fruit forward. It has more of a substantial sweetness in it. Yeah, it has. Um, this uh again more sweetness uh, less less of this light bready belgian you know uplifting kind of aroma um more orange yeah candy sweet orange let's get that flavor oh wow mm. this one's quite different mm. this one's definitely less fruit forward a bit more i believe complex with that maybe a lot less flavor uh, less fruit flavors very clean um you're getting um a bit of spice um again less fruits it's just this general breadiness that's you know moving on uh, throughout the palate quite easy drinking hint of spice hints of um uh, orange essence but not really too much of a popping kind of flavor uh, after flavors, uh, after the aftertaste is a bit more of the, like a leftover, uh, it leaves lingering hints of orange again. Again, this one's more fruit forward, more bold on the palate. A bit sweeter, I think, maybe. Yeah, this one's a bit sweeter, um, fuller flavor. Um, this one leaves a bit more flavor on the palate at the end. This one's a bit more watery, I would say. Actually, it's pretty hard. I think they're both quite refreshing. This one has a lemon zestiness. Again, a refreshing zestiness. This one's more substantial, more banana flavors, more um, uh, breadiness, more sweetness. So, I mean, really, I think it almost comes down to preference which one you prefer of these two. Yeah, it's just a big, again, the bubblegum banana flavor is something like a half ice would have. Hmm. I'm still trying to decide which one I like more. I think this one's a better beer, but then I could also see someone liking the, um, oh, no, sorry, I have this, I, I, sorry, I, I didn't explain that I think I know which one's which. I believe this one's a whole garden, the lighter one, the lemon zestiness. Oh, wow, this is the Allagash, wow. So then the whole garden, is the one that I thought was a quote unquote a better beer. That's very surprising. I thought um, the Allagash would be the one that had more banana again. Hmm. Yeah, this one's the cleaner one. And this one's the more with sticky sweetness, bigger, bolder flavors. That's really a surprise, huh? Anyways, uh, to continue on, I was gonna say that the um, Allagash is more of a drinkable, easier, light, lighter beer, whereas the Hogarden is more substantial. And I think, quote unquote, the, the better beer in the sense that, you know, it's bigger flavors, you know, um, it, it, it pops better. The Allagash almost has a graininess on the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's quite nice, but still, I think the, I think how this, I, I think the Hogarden, again, is a quote unquote fuller flavor beer. You're going to get more fruit, more banana. Um, uh, more you know bigger flavors in there. 
uh, sorry, and the Allagash more drinkable, more lemon zest, more spices. Mm, yeah, surprising. So yeah, there you go. There's a result. Um, I think they're both, you know, fine beers with summer, despite it being winter right now. Sorry. And um, yeah, I mean, check them out. Uh, depends. I mean, how about this? I, I, I believe that you guys should try it out yourselves and see which ones you like more. Because really, I think it's uh, up for debate which one's better. Uh, they're both uh, interesting takes on the style. Uh, I mean, I guess Hogar is more the original, but Algash does it very well as, uh, as well, too. So yeah, I mean, really interesting stuff. I, I'm surprised by the result. I actually thought I picked out, you know, uh, which was which, but it turned out to be wrong. Then again, I'm not super familiar with the beers. So yeah, until next time, guys. Cheers and do more battle beers. I'll be back with more next time.